What is going on college basketball fans? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to give you guys my updated top 10 players still available in the transfer portal. Before we get into it, I just want to say hit that subscribe button. It helps your boy out so much and I would greatly appreciate it. Also hit that like button if you guys want to see more transfer portal videos here on the channel. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Hey guys, coming in at number 10, we have Courtney Ramey out of Texas last season for the Longhorns. He averaged nine points per game, four rebounds per game, and two assists per game. And he has one year of eligibility left in college. And he's had an excellent career at Texas. And I think whoever picks him up is getting a big time player. The two teams I see most interested in Courtney Ramey are Arizona and and Louisville and he actually had an official visit with Louisville not too long ago so I would say that they are actually the favorites even though that I think going to Arizona makes a lot more sense for both sides so we will see what he decides but he is coming in here at number 10. Next up we have Northwestern power forward Pete Nance. Now this is actually Larry Nance Jr's little brother who is in the NBA now, and last season for Northwestern, he averaged 15 points per game, 7 rebounds per game, 3 assists per game, and shot 45% from the 3-point line as a big man. And the top two teams that I see most interested in Pete Nance are Michigan and Illinois. So it looks like he is going to be staying in the Big Ten, and he has one year of eligibility left remaining. And I think both of these teams could greatly benefit from having a stretch four on their team who can also rebound the basketball and not too bad of a passer. So I think this would be a huge get for either one of these teams. And next up on our list, we have Antoine Davis out of Detroit Mercy. Yes, that's right. Out of Detroit Mercy. Last season, he averaged 24 points per game, four rebounds per game, and four assists per game. And he is actually the 22nd all-time leading scorer in college basketball. Yes, that is right. He is a career 25 points per game player, and he is in the transfer portal, and he has one year of eligibility left on he has one year of eligibility left remaining, and he also shot 43% from the field last season and 38% from behind the arc. And the only team that I've seen he had an actual visit with is BYU. So that would, to me would probably be the favorite to pick him up. And man, what a huge pickup it would be because I would have a hard time believing he doesn't have average at least 20 points per game next season. Coming in here at number seven on our list, maybe the best shooter on this list. And that is from Northern Iowa, AJ Green. Now last season, AJ Green averaged 19 points per game, four rebounds per game, three assists and shot 39% from behind the arc and shot 90% from the free throw line. So this guy has major, major 50, 40, 90 potential from sh shoot as far as shooting the basketball. And he has two years of eligibility remaining. And the two teams that I've seen very, very interested in AJ Green, and it looks like those are going to be the final two teams that he is going to pick from. And that is Duke and Iowa State. I'm pretty sure that he just had an official visit with Duke, and I'm pretty sure that he is visiting Iowa State as well. So those are probably going to be his final two teams. Whoever picks him up is getting an absolute stud. Coming in here at number six, we have Kenneth Lofton Jr. from La Tech. Now last season at La Tech, he averaged 16 points per game, 11 rebounds per game, and three assists per game. And he only averaged 20% from behind the arc. But recently, he's been in the NBA Combine workouts, and he looks a lot better from behind the arc. And my prediction is that he probably is going to stay in the NBA draft, but he has not made an official decision yet, so he could still opt out, return to college, and if he does, there is one team that I'm pretty sure has him on lock if he does stay in the portal and doesn't go into the draft, and that is Houston. I think Kelvin Sampson has this man on lock. If he does not enter the draft, I am pretty sure he will be a Houston Cougar. And at number five, we have a guy who did 
opt out of the NBA draft recently, and that is the mullet man himself, Matthew Meyer. And this guy at Baylor averaged 10 points per game, five rebounds per game, and shot 33% from behind the arc. A lot of the things that this guy does, though, does not show up in the box score. He draws a lot of charges. He plays amazing defense, and he is an valuable valuable stretch big at the power forward position major three and d guy and the two teams that are looking to pick him up are north carolina and illinois and it looks like north carolina are the clear clear favorites considering they just lost brady manic this past season i mean matt meyer would step into that role and it fit it perfectly and maybe even play it better as far as the defensive side of the ball I think he would be a lot better than Brady Manic. offensively maybe not quite as good of a shooter but still what a replacement that would be for the Tar Heels coming in at number four we have Isaiah Mosley from Missouri State. Last season for Missouri State, he averaged 20 points per game, six rebounds per game, and shot 43% from the three-point line. He has two years of eligibility remaining, and the two teams I see most looking to pick him up are Mississippi State and Kansas. And man, if Kansas got Isaiah Mosley, talk about reloading. They actually just picked up Kevin McCalkler. McCowler out of Texas Tech and now they're in the running for Isaiah Mosley and another player that we have not talked about yet that is on this list so man talk about reloading your roster and at number three we have Imani Bates out of Memphis last season for Memphis he averaged 10 points per game and three rebounds per game he still has three years of eligibility remaining he is the former number one overall recruit coming out of high school this guy has a ton of potential and he has still narrowed his narrowed his list down to six and that is Louisville DePaul Michigan, Seton Hall, Arkansas, and Eastern Michigan. And if I were to bet, I think that Imani Bates is going to be a Louisville Cardinal at the start of next season. I think that is where he is going to go, but I could be wrong. I think DePaul, Seton Hall, all these teams are in the running for him. But my favorite right now for to pick up Imani Bates is Louisville. And coming in here at number 10, we have Tyrese Hunter out of Iowa State. He also has three years of eligibility remaining. And last season for the Cyclones, he averaged 11 points per game, five assists per game, four rebounds per game, and two steals per game. I mean, this guy is an absolute stud. And whoever picks him up is going to get a star. The teams in the running for him, also Louisville in the running for Tyrese Hunter, and also Kansas. This was the player I was talking about. Kansas is also in the running for as well. And Texas and Gonzaga are getting in on the mix. Those, to me, are probably the top four teams. If he doesn't go to one of those four teams, I would be very, very surprised. He actually just had an official visit with Texas just a few days ago so maybe he's leaning towards texas but all four of these teams i think are serious contenders to pick up tyrese hunter and coming in at number one we have malachi smith out of chattanooga and last season he averaged 20 points per game seven rebounds a game three assists per game and shot 40 percent from the three point line and he still has two years of eligibility remaining. And the team that I think Malachi Smith is going to go to is the South Carolina Gamecocks. And his former coach that was at Chattanooga is the new head coach of South Carolina. So that is kind of the main reason. Also, I could not find which teams are seriously in the running for him. I've seen a lot of rumors, but just too many teams to narrow it down. If I were to make a prediction today... I would say South Carolina are the favorites to pick up Malachi Smith. So that is going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys, which one of these transfers do you think is the best one and going to make a major impact whenever they get to their new team. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy, Danny. 